giving you a call today to see if we can count on your support for Ringo Paul for State Senate. It's being billed as the premier race in this year's legislative election, and it's coming down to the blood and sweat put out by each campaign. We're working very hard. We're taking nothing for granted. We've got hundreds of volunteers uh, each and every day out of five campaign lo locations. We've got people making phone calls, knocking on doors, really educating their na uh, neighbors. I'm out there. I've hit about 6,300 doors myself. Former Monmouth County Democratic Chairman Vin Gopal is looking to unseat longtime Republican incumbent Jen Beck. It's a battleground district that leans right, though its unaffiliated and Democratic registered voters outweigh Republicans about three to one. Gopal was instrumental in flipping both legislative seats blue two years ago, an upset he's hoping to repeat. We released a letter last week of 100 registered Republicans, uh, who many of them elected officials, who are crossing over to support our campaign. So we're uniting Republicans, Democrats, Independents that are tired of high property taxes, high, tired of cuts on women's health care. My district um, voted in double digits for President Obama both times, and then voted in double digits for Governor Christie both times. So it really is a truly independent district. These are swing voters that judge you based on your performance and your work. And if you aren't working hard for them, they're not going to keep you. Beck has held the 11th District Senate seat for nearly a decade. She's got the task of surmounting a fractured national GOP brand and a Republican governor with historically low approval ratings. While her opponent is well-funded and well-supported by his party, an issue she's put at the center of the campaign. There's been a lot of money spent. The Camden County machine has put about $2.4 million in against me, and I've raised and spent about 300000 so we're being outspent 10 to 1. Um, but they have not outworked us, and we have been out hitting doors since March of this year. As of last weekend, we had hit 10,113 doors. According to New Jersey's Election Law Enforcement Commission, the candidates aren't too far off with personal fundraising. Beck's campaign raised about $433,000 to go pals nearly $600,000. Monmouth University pollster Patrick Murray points out Gopal's campaign may not be benefiting from all the resources most pundits originally expected. There's not as much money coming in as there might have been uh, in terms of the independent expenditures uh, because of a lot of this money flowing to uh, a race down in the third district with the Senate President Steve Sweeney. Still, he adds they'll have to separate themselves from being establishment candidates, and their campaigns have some striking similarities. Both are business owners. Both platforms have focused on fiscally conservative ideas, like fixes for property taxes and the school funding formula. The final days will be a full court press for these candidates. Pundits are refraining from trying to call this race. It'll come down to each door, each phone call, and every vote. In Middletown, Brianna Venosi, NJTV News.